Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to House Flipper. I'm just looking at this kitchen and I'm still wondering whether I made the right choice by painting the blue um, and painting over it and just having the same colour throughout. I think I did, but at the same time I'm not really sure. Um, I did like the blue in there, I thought that was quite good, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I haven't quite made my mind up on that. I wanted to put some pictures on the wall in here, so that's the first thing that we're going to do today, is we're going to select a couple of pictures and paintings, and we're going to hang them up on the wall in here. Now, I have said that you know, I'm, I'm not so much of a fan of um, painted art. I've always preferred, well, some painted art, but I've, I've always generally preferred pictures. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go for it anyway. This room is done. We're not going to change this room. And I'm wondering if I should put another picture on the wall out here. We could do that. We could do another one. Uh, let's go with that one there. With an oak frame. That is a very small picture. Okay, we won't we won't put that one there. We'll put we could put that one on the wall right there. So we got a little one on the wall right there. I want another bigger picture there, don't I? I want I want something a little bit grander. Another one with the flat. What's with the tiny pictures? I don't want little tiny pictures. We'll put that one there, and then what about that one? Is that is that going to be? A... That's a bit better. Okay, so we got another bigger picture there. That one can go right in the middle. Right, that looks a little bit better. I think we've got a couple more pictures. So. The plan is, we've got a room here to do, we've got a room here to do, a room here to do, and a room here to do. This room here, I'm going to paint the sand almond colour that we've been using for a lot of the rest of the house. So we're just going to do this one around here. The other two bedrooms, I'm thinking I'm going to paint a different colour. I'm not quite sure what colour, but we'll have a colour theme in each of them. It will be neutral colours. Well, I say neutral, it'll be, it'll be, um, it'll be more pastel colours rather than strong overpowering. We wanted to sort of do pastels throughout. Uh, I've got my one bathroom downstairs with my beautiful purple tiles on the floor. Um, I'm not sure that anybody else is going to like them in the slightest, not even a little bit. But, you know, that, that's all up to you. This um, I, I can't really expect everybody to love everything that I like and vice versa. Let's just go through there and do that one and then we can come up here and do those as well. Can I get all of these bits? Excellent! Okay, we'll take that one there as well. I've already gone through and cleaned all the windows and we've hung all the radiators and stuff like that. That was all done previously. There are new houses available actually. We, we There are some more houses to choose from. It's just that we're not actually going to be getting to those at the moment. I know that um, well, some of you have said that you um, are really enjoying the series and you don't want me to stop anytime soon but uh, there are others who are quite looking forward to me playing Graveyard Keeper which is one that I'd like to play at, you know, very very soon actually so we're going to take a break from this one we're going to go to Graveyard Keeper and then I will see we could very well come back to this game soon-ish sooner rather than later because um, quite a lot of you are quite enjoying it um, maybe... I actually, I've got no idea. I, I don't know when we'd be able to come back because it's it's trying to like find a balance with all the different games that we're playing and, and the games that I want to play as well. Right, we've got Sand Almond, that's the one that we've been using. So we'll go to there and we'll paint that. Take a bit of that. We're getting a bit of lag in this house. I've noticed that as we do more and more painting, as more and more of the house gets done, we're getting more and more um, little lag spikes occurring as we go through. So we'll remove that one, and that one is done. We've we finished with that one. And it's a bedroom, so I don't want a wooden floor in here. I'm going to go back to there. We're going to go for floor tiles. Where is it? Uh, floor panels and coverings. And we're going to go for a beige carpet like this. So we're going to take that over to there and fill that. Oh, we've got one more slice up through there to do and then I'm gonna do the bit underneath the door there and then we'll do it like that right so we've got this carpet in here we've got blue carpet in there and we got blue carpet in there this one I'm also going to do with a beige carpet Take that all the way through there there like that right that's done excellent uh, no what I was thinking is that one 
This one wasn't, it was going to be this one as the master bedroom, but I'm starting to think that actually this is a bigger bedroom. So we'll have this as the master bedroom. Um, which means that the sand almond is not going to be in the master bedroom. We'll do that different. And so this one, we could stick with the... Hmm. I think we'll change, we'll come out of this and we'll, we'll put the beige carpet in here because uh, we've got the child's bedroom. Ooh, maybe we could do a second child's bedroom. That, pro that probably wouldn't hurt. Have another child's bedroom in here. We could sort of do something like that, but do it with a green theme. Um, which one? Would, we'll do this. We'll do this one here as child's bedroom, and that way it's, it's kind of evenly balanced, so that you've got you know both kids have got the room the same size. One's got a green room, one's got a blue room. I think that could actually work fairly well. There, we will do that, and then we can come up to there and do that, and we'll do that there. But that means I'm gonna have to paint this wall again. I'm just finished painting this wall. So maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should do this room instead. Um, I'd rather paint... I'd rather give, you know, the, the kids different size rooms. And then I'll redo the carpet in here with the beige. Um, I'd rather do the carpet twice than the painting twice. Because the painting takes a lot longer. So if we do that... And we'll come up there. Paint that. Uh, the paint that. Fill that. There we go. Right. We've done the flooring in there. That's all the flooring done. Perfect. That one. Right. Uh, so that's going to be the master bedroom. That's going to be another bedroom. Uh, this is going to be a kid's room in here. So we've got that light. First of all, we want to change that light. So we will go to... Actually, we want to go to sell objects and get rid of you. And then we'll go into lamp, ceiling lamps. Ceiling lamps right there. This one I am going to go for the colourful one. I know I said previously I didn't want to. Mainly because of um, just how insanely bright it was. But I think we'll put up there. Uh, paints. Right. Faded lemon. Morning yellow. Maybe morning spring grass. Let's try spring grass. Let's see what this looks like. To there. Take a bit of that. Uh, this is really bright, isn't it? Okay, it's, it's too bright. I, that, is, that is just like overpowering, that is. Um, let me take that one. Get rid of you. And then we'll go for something that's slightly darker than that. Well, I may as well go for one of these, because these you can have in different colours. We've got orange lily, pink for baby boy, navy stripes. Uh, okay, so we can't have a green one of those. There are no green ceiling lamp tubes available. Uh, is there other ones? Can this one be? Green birch. That is the only green we can have. Okay, well, we'll put that one up there, and we'll have that one instead. Uh, turn that one on. It's not too bad. Alright, we'll go with that. That's the last little bit there, and we now have a green room. Excellent. So we can sell that bit there. Uh, let's just close that door a minute, and... Okay, bed. We want the bed. We'll go for the exact same bed that we had in the other room. And we're going to do this quick. I'm not going to put down so many toys in this one. I'm still going to put this one in. Obviously, this is, this is going to go in here. We can't put that one there like that. So let me... You know that does actually fit quite nicely right in there. It's just enough room to plonk it into that corner. I'm hoping there's enough room. This bedroom, huh? Bedroom isn't the bedroom isn't a place for toys. Okay, uh, not quite sure why they think you shouldn't have toys in your bedroom. That's that just seems absurd to me. Absolutely absurd. Grassy green or green. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll go for grassy green here. This is the kids' bedroom. It's, it's got to be bright and light and airy. Uh, so let's assemble this one. Put that one onto there. And then we can start popping these in like this. One there and one there. And then the curtains can go on. It's kind of a yellowy green, but I think that's all right. It's, um, it's not the most wonderful green, but I, I still think it's, it's, it's going to be all right. Okay, uh, I'm going to put that one up there. And then assemble. Drop that in. There we go, put that one in, and that one, and then one there, and one there, and then the curtains can... Oop, nope, there, there we go, right, okay, so we got the curtains on. Next up, we're going to want some cupboards, and we're going to want something suitable for the kids. Now, last time, we just went for a double chest of drawers here, and I'm going to go for the same again. We went in older. I'm picking the same colours, same thing, same patterns. Um, 
and then they can obviously they they can change it round if they want to i mean they don't have to have it like they don't have to keep it like this if they don't want to so we're going to put the donkeys on here as well we want the donkeys there and we'll put a little bunny on here we're going to have a pink bunny oh does that mean we can change the color of the bunk the, the the bunky the bunny uh pink magenta i see right blue pink ah ooh. okay that thing looks kind of freaky i'm putting that one in there i like that and then we want to have a look at some toys i did say that we weren't going to put as many toys but i didn't say we weren't going to put no toys um we're going to take that one there and that one's going to go in and i'm going to put another one beside it and then i'm going to put just one of those there on top like that right there we've got some toys in here and next up we want hang on was there a to purchase oh i see yeah uh, never mind um so after we've got those what else did i want oh we want to um we, we need chairs we want the, the bean bag where's the bean bag bean bag bean bag bean bag uh poof they called it uh we want a blue bean bag no we don't we want a green one we have a green one we have a green bean bag available so we're gonna plonk that one down there and are we gonna go for an i said that we'd have another chair so this one is the same green as the one next door but this actually fits fits and matches the bedroom quite nicely so it's a little bare it doesn't have loads of stuff but there's enough stuff in there to be good enough okay so there is another bedroom done that bedroom is done we've got to paint that room this room here is just going to be basically another guest bedroom so we're going to go let's go curtains and blinds and we want short mountable this one is going to be nope um brown brown seems very no uh light lily no orange Ooh, no that's too much uh brown stripes i'm gonna go for that that seems a little bit peculiar and strange i i, I will admit that um but yeah we're, we're gonna go for it anyway i put that one up and that one up and then you and you and we can put those brown stripes on so that means we've got to do the same over here and that's a short cut. I think this one here, we actually want a wide curtain here. And uh, I want the same. It's got to be brown stripes there. Like that. It's got to match. Um, and yeah, I do think that is the right one to do. So put that one on. There. I think we could possibly get away with a short one on there. But I, I'm not entirely certain. There we go. No, actually that works better. That is a wide window there. So that does work better. Right. That's the first bit. Now I need a bed a a double bed and that one i think orange joy brown stripes bedding yellow brown stripes cover brown stripes that's a lot of brown stripes let's just go with striped on that one and then oak rotate that round there we go look at that we got brown stripes going everywhere now uh bedside table next i want um bed side right bedside tables we've got those kind of the matching ones or i'm gonna go for one of these actually um dark walnut have oak let's go with dark walnut on this we've got slightly darker furniture going in this one uh, that one can go there and then i want another one and that is going to go on that side there right okay and then i want a lamp that is going to go on there so not ceiling lamps uh just ordinary lamp a stylized lamp there this one can be lamp shade red white and black all right let's go with that um gold metal yeah that looks pretty good put that one on there and i'll turn that one on as well there we go i haven't turned this main light we're not going to keep the main light like that that one can go get rid of you and then we're going to change you to something slightly different so uh, ceiling lamps you are going to be i'm liking the idea of the chandelier there chandelier tulips with bulbs let's go with that one mahogany japanese wood no uh no no goes with the stripes really doesn't it does kind of go with the stripes that we got going on here so let's turn that one on and 
Ooh, that is very bright. And yeah, I am. It's You can see it's kind of getting laggy now as I spin around. And I think that is to do with the um, the amount of things that we've got. Because obviously the, the game's now having to render in all the paint and stuff that we put on the walls. And I think that does actually have an effect on it. Because it seems to be more severe in this house than we've had it in any other house that we've done. Let's put the TV the right way up. Uh, put that one on the wall. And then we could just do with some chests of drawers, really. A couple of cupboards in here. This is just a guest bedroom. We don't have to worry about this one too much. Uh, stylish chest of drawers. Nut. And oak. I like that. I actually really do. I, 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 I genuinely like that. That looks pretty good. Um, put that one in there. Can I get another one of those? Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't get a second one of those. Stylish. There, what's this? White. Nut. Okay. And then that one. There right beside it. And we'll plonk that one there. Okay, so we've now got uh, another one of those. That's a very simple, plain, understated uh, guest bedroom. There's nothing very exciting in there at all. Uh, we're going to go to pictures and paintings. And let's have a scroll down. Painting with pink trees. Put that one on the wall there. I don't think this room needs anything else. It's a guest bedroom. It doesn't need to be anything particularly special, does it? Uh, great pictures. Okay, so then we've got this room here. This one needs to be painted. We've done a blue room. We've done a green room for the kids. We've got uh, fairly. We got some plain rooms downstairs. So what are we going to do with this one? We've done. We've got the pink office downstairs. Uh, lime, bloody red, amaranth adventure, purple quartz. This is much heavier colours down here, isn't it? We want um, bland. Well, not it doesn't necessarily have to be bland. It's just got to be um, like faded colours. Maybe we'll go for some velvety peach. Let's try that. Slightly orangey type colour. There we go. And let's see. Hmm. Okay. This colour here is one that was used heavily in my house when I first moved into it. It was done in a high gloss paint as well, and quite frankly, it was one of the most hideous paint colours I've ever seen in my life. It was disgusting. And the years have not been the years have not softened my attitude towards this paint. I really don't like it. We're getting rid of that one. You're going. I am not having velvety peach in this house. That is just hideous. Uh, bright peach, morning yellow, faded yellow, faded lemon. Let's go with faded lemon. We'll, we'll do a yellowy colour. Let's, let's do that one. That, that one will fit, I think. So we'll take that one instead and let's try this again. That's better. That's brighter. I, I don't like this, this kind of peachy colour. Just brings back a lot of bad memories and a lot of hard work as well. It took me ages to paint over that hideous, hideous colour that was in his house. And it was everywhere. Apart from one room, which all of the rooms, it, they painted with high gloss paint. Everywhere. I'm not a fan of high gloss paint at the best of times. And having it on your bedroom wall, it just, I, yeah, you turn on even the smallest light. And just reflects everywhere and it looks terrible. Um, or at least it does in my opinion. I have to, I, I do add in, in my opinion, every now and then. Um, everything stated here, I'm not stating as fact, I'm stating as my opinion. Just for those, uh, you know, the, the occasional person that stumbles onto the channel and then gets all upset because I've said something that they don't agree with, um, and, and then they have to, to make their, um, make their voices heard about how terrible I am and how wrong I am and so on. Usually, though, these people aren't too clever, and they put a load of curses into their sentences as well, which, obviously... Um, as we have a no swearing policy on this channel, those comments get filtered out and automatically deleted. So I see them, I do get to see them, it's just that nobody else does. So it is kind of a pointless exercise really. And and then they're, and then they're off and they're, they leave the channel alone, they never come back. So that's the end of it. Uh, so just in case, you know, there is somebody out there that's watching this that isn't going to like immediately run in and start swearing and cursing on the channel. Um, this is my opinion. I think that the high gloss paint looks absolutely hideous. You may think it's wonderful. You may think it's absolutely glorious to cover every surface in your home in high gloss paint. And 
I, I wish you well with that. I really do. Just don't expect me to come and visit and have a cup of tea. Or well, a cup of coffee. I, I, don't, I don't really drink tea. I, I don't like tea. Um, my wife drinks tea. Senlea drinks lots of tea. I don't drink tea. I don't like tea at all. And let's get rid of that one. Okay, so we've done all the painting that we need to do now. We've, we've painted every room. This room here, now I was thinking this was going to be the master bedroom. So we're going to go, first of all, let's get the, um, the curtains done. So we want to go to curtains and blinds. We want a mountable short narrow curtain. And we're going to go for a... Um, you know, I'm thinking that those gold flowers might not be out of the way. Let, let's, let's just try that a minute. Let's, let's put these on and we'll see what they look like if I, if I can... Get this thing to work properly. There we go. And put that one in. And then get the next one. Put that one in there. And then hang those up. Right. No, I think that does actually look quite good. That does actually look fairly good. Uh, and we can go to there. We want the short wide. And that one, we also want the gold flowers like that. Put that one on. And then just go in a little bit closer. Assemble. There we go. We put that one up onto the wall. And then we can put those in. And we can do the same over here. Like that, and then we could mount the curtain. Right. Now we're in business. So we've got that one. Next up, we want the bed. We're going to have a big, big old double bed right up through the middle. Uh, that one. Now, what double bed are we going to have as the master bed? I like the idea of this one. That one looks good. So look at this. Wood cherry. Ooh. Okay, that would be very cool in a castle. Uh, dark oak. Or older. I'm thinking older. Cornflowers. I cannot see the bedding. Ah, I see. You gotta do it like that. Right. Cornflowers. Uh, elegant decorations or gold. The gold flowers fits. The gold flowers matches the curtains beautifully. Now, where do we? If I put the bed up that way. I got nowhere to put a TV on the wall, and I always like to have a TV on the wall. Except that, in this house, I don't think we will be having a TV. Uh, not this room, anyway. I don't think we're going to be having a TV on the wall in this room. We're going to put this one over here. It's going to be back this way slightly. It's going to go there. And then we're going to go here, and we're going to go for bedside. I need... Uh, oop, no, bedside. There. What are these like? We've got beach, uh, venge, wood, cherry, duck... No. So that seems a bit bright. No. If you haven't... Oh. No, the, the colours are too strong on that. It doesn't work. We might just end up going back to... That's white or black, though. That's, that's a little bit too simplistic. I don't want one of those. Uh, so we're, we're looking back at this one. And beach is too bright. Dark walnut might actually be the wood of choice this time around uh because wood cherry is too red i think okay we're going for dark walnut um yeah it'd be better to have a darker wood on this rather than a, a bright to one would it you know what actually i'm thinking that we could go for a brighter one it's not going to look completely out of place uh beach is the only one that we can go for i'd prefer like the older um color which is you know, slightly darker than this, but it's not, like, uh, really dark at all. It's, it's, it's actually quite bright. Okay, so we'll put those two in there, and I'm going to put a lamp over on one side. We only need to put it onto one side, so I go to lamp, and stylized lamp, table lamp, cube. Ooh. 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 Decisions. Decisions. What's this? Uh... That's not out of the way. That That's not out of place there, I don't think. I don't know if I can fit another one on this side. I don't think it's going to let me because of the curtain. Oh, yes, it will. Ah, excellent. Right. So, we've got those two there. That is a good start. Now, uh, wardrobes. This is the one room in the house that is actually going to have wardrobes. You know what I feel about wardrobes. I never use them. Um, so, I, I kind of rarely consider the point of them at all uh, for anybody else either uh, but I am aware that there are people out there that consider a wardrobe to be an essential part of your furniture so to allow for those of you who do feel that uh, wardrobes are fairly important we're going to put some in uh, what do we got here the speech no um, nut Ooh. well that's just that's like 
halfway house between a wardrobe and a, a, a cupboard. I don't really think there's much point to that. Um, no, we, we won't take that one. Uh, what else we got? So we got that classic secretary there, which we probably want. Hermes wardrobe. Maybe we could do that. I was kind of thinking I wanted uh, something a little bit bigger, but it doesn't look... I mean, look at that wardrobe Charles there. Maybe that's wardrobe packs. This is really cheap furniture, and I didn't want cheap furniture. Excuse me. I got the hiccups again. Um, let's do... Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This will fit. This, this, this is what I got in mind. Uh, bring that one out. Where have I got to put it? There back okay we're gonna put one there and so I got a wardrobe there I was actually planning to put two of them one right next to the other except that there's quite a big gap in between them and then that's gonna look a little bit strange really isn't it so maybe is, is one one wardrobe is probably enough so we, we could have that and then um, well I definitely don't want a TV stand classic TV cabinet we might go for that one. What else have we got here? Uh, there's a fairly simple chest of drawers there that is not going to look out of place in this bedroom at all. Uh, we've got the classic chest of drawers here. We can go. Yeah, this is a problem. It's, it's a classic chest, but it does. You know, the colours aren't that great. I'm not a fan of the colours on it. So none of those. Um. We got that the classic secretary. I think actually this one here is the one that we want. And no, I'm, I'm older does look to. I'd say older. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for older on that one. That is going to match the furniture quite nicely. The furniture that we've already got in here. So we're going for it's kind of minimalistic and simplistic approach on it. Pick that one as well, and that one's going to go right beside it right there like that so we've basically got a double chest of drawers on that one and then we're going to come around here now can i put and actually have it look um like it belongs here the classic tv cabinet um does it belong in here that's the big question because what else have we got we've got that uh, there's this, it is it's classic tv cabinet um we got others. We got stylish chest of drawers there. White. No. Actually, that, that, that might be better. Oak. Ooh. Okay. Uh, of course, the question is now, which one am I going to have? There is only one way to find out, and that is to get the home electronics. And I need the TV. Why is a hanging TV more? I really don't understand that. It's no sense to me. You can We can put the TV onto either of them uh, I'm thinking is going on there right so let's go to you and we will sell that one and then we'll go to you and that one there is gonna be moved back up against the wall like that and then TV is gonna go there like that I need something to go in this corner. I uh, think that needs to be a table of some sort. Ooh, no. I know what I'll have. Now, this is something you don't often see in a bedroom, but I've seen it I've seen it a number of times. My grandparents used to have this in their bedroom. Uh, they had a little separate um, section, except that I'm not allowed to put that in here. It's not going to let me because I got to um, I got to plumb the thing in. They had a little area in the corner of their bedroom that had a sink in it, and it worked really well. But apparently, I'm not allowed to have that. Uh, am I allowed this one? I'm not allowed of that either. Okay, so we're not allowed to do the sink in the bedroom thing, uh, which is a bit of a shame because you know that was quite good and uh, allowed. You know, you can wash, brush your teeth, and that in the morning, and you don't even have to go and clog up the bathroom. And in a house this size, it would probably be quite useful. But we're not allowed to do that. So uh, let's go back to my other idea, which was a table or a desk. We've got a classic desk right there. This one. Uh, color beach. Color wood cherry. Ooh. It's too bright. Look, that's not going to fit anything else in this room. It could go in there. We could just We could move the furniture along just a little bit. But it's the wrong color. Look at it. Although I'm actually thinking that the oak there is is more the wrong colour than this. Um, if we took 
No. Okay, well, we can we can still do this. I can still make this work. I want a small table to go in that corner, and it's going to be. Actually, if we go for a square table like that, modern dark oak, pine, nut, nut. There. Put that one in that corner, in there. Well, we're still going to have to move things over. Right, let's, let's put you down there. This one here is going to have to be moved over that way a bit. I broke the TV. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to. Okay, we put that one back there, and then... Yeah, that table's quite big. But having a table in the corner of the bedroom is not something that is unusual. There, we can put that one there. Let's... Move you a minute. Put you down there. And take you. Put you right there like that. And then I'm going to take that one. And that one is going to go... Oh, actually. I need to straighten you out a bit. There. Okay. So I've got a TV in here. And I've got the... It's really slow now moving around, isn't it? It's, it's getting more and more difficult to actually move around in this house. Which is a bit of a shame. Um, but we've done everything. I'm not going to do anything else in here. That is um, close enough for a master bedroom. We've got a bathroom upstairs to do. And that's it. We've done this one. This is a guest bedroom here. Um, we've got that. And we've got a basement. We've got bathroom upstairs. And we've got a basement. I don't really know what to do with the basement. i got no idea. I was thinking um, we could like spend ages turning this into some sort of nuclear shelter. Um, add that aspect into it. We could uh, we can go like games rooms and stuff like that. Um, maybe not do it at all. We could try just selling the house as it is. We'll go and do the bathroom upstairs. We'll sell and yeah. If we, if we do the bathroom upstairs a minute, we've only got to do the tiling. We've done everything else. Um, we, we've put all the stuff in. We've just got to tile the wall. That's the only thing that needs to be done in this room is tile the wall. So we can go here to wall tiles. And actually, floor tiles first. I'm not going to do those. I've been told that they look terrible. Sen will divorce me if I want those tiles. Well, she probably won't divorce me, but um, she's she's just said no. It's not happening. It's it's, it's just no. It's, there's no. There was no real discussion about it. It was just no. It's not happening. Um, I like this. I like the idea of having this. They're very pale. Put them down. That looks good. Yeah, that that looks all right. It's so very very pale. It's um it's not like in your face or anything like that. Uh, so let's go to no not wall panels wall tiles. We know we haven't done any wallpapering. We well, maybe we get that. So we could go for the blue. We could go for cyan tiles. They're very bright though. They're they're, they're a bit overpowering. Um, I think maybe that one, that one there. It's blue again, but it's a different it's a different tile to the floor and. Um, I do agree. I don't think that we should be doing the same on the walls as we've got on the floor. Uh, what is that like? Let's see. Problem with this is it does take a while to go around and do the bathroom. So we can do this. I might go into the basement and just like throw up a bit of racking down there. And then we'll see about selling this house. And then when we come back to House Flipper in the future, if we decide to come back and do this house again... We could always change that up a bit. Of course, the other option is we could just see how much the house will sell for and then not take the sale, and I could leave it at that. But today is going to be the final episode. We've done enough on this house now that I don't think we're going to have another full episode available on it. Right, handyman, plasterer, tiler, and fitter. The, right, it's literally just these now. So, faster plastering, but that's not going to make any difference to me on this bit. This is already going as fast as it can possibly go. Um, so, yes, this is going to be the final episode for House Flipper for at least a few weeks. And I'm going to be starting on Graveyard Keeper in two days' time. So, I will be starting on that game. And then we'll come back to this one after a little while. And we'll see what other things we want to do. Because there are several other things still that we want to do in this game. Um, and I know a lot of you just really just enjoy watching me buy the houses and, and like fit them up the different ways that they can be um, done up because there are a number of different like ways that we can do there's like uh, there's 
so many different um, houses that we've got and we can buy the same house and then use a different approach to it to um, fit it all up. So yeah, we, we, we've got lots of options in here and I am going to come back and I'm going to keep doing some more but um, like I said, there's other games I want to play as well and if I stay here forever on House Flipper, I'm never going to get to any of these other things. So it's going to be Graveyard Keeper next. I'll see how much we get offered for this house. I don't think... I was saying... I said that we would go and put a bit of racking in the basement. But I'm not even sure about that at the moment. I'll see. Let's just finish this room first. You know, I've gone and done all this titling now. And I'm not actually sure if I like it all that much, to be honest. It's... um. I don't know, I've never been a fan of the small mosaic type tiles that we've got on the wall here. I've never really liked those. Yeah, that, I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it, but um, I don't hate it so much that I actually want to go and change it at all. Uh, you know, it, it's up there now. It's on the wall, it's done. Let's just turn that light on. Okay, we got the lights on. I don't like this bathroom. I do not like the bathroom. I like the one that I got downstairs, mind, but I don't like that one. Okay, this is all we're going to do for this house. We, we've got our master bedroom there, and then in here we've got the green child's room. In here we've got the blue child's room. In this one we've got a guest bedroom with lots of stripes, uh, which I don't think looks too bad. And then there's the hallway. We come down, we've got some artwork up there. And we've got this bathroom here, which I still think is absolutely fabulous and um, fan schmabulous and awesome. And there's one thing I forgot. There's one thing I forgot up here. I know, I know, I know. Silly me. Silly me, don't worry. I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. I'm going to put toilet roll, toilet paper holder. Uh, I suppose really it needs to go on that side, doesn't it? There we go. All right, so that's done. Now everybody will be happy. And then we can come down here. So, yeah, we've got that wonderful bathroom there. We've got a guest bedroom here. And I quite like the pictures that are on the wall in here. And then we've got a small office in here. It's a bit cramped in here, admittedly, but it's an office. You're not gonna, you don't really need to be jumping around and dancing and singing and stuff. And it's got a huge, great big computer um, and monitor and everything in there. I'm still at two minds about the kitchen. I genuinely can't decide if I prefer this or the blue. I am pleased with what we did with the window. I do think that was a positive step. And then down here, we've got all of this open space and I've got no clue what to do with it. Absolutely no clue whatsoever. So one thing I am going to do, I'm going to go into cupboards right there and is it in here? Garage shelf. Steel garage shelf. I'm going to go with that one like that. And I'm going to put that one in there. And then I'm going to put that one in there. And that's all I'm going to do. That's the only thing I'm going to do in the basement. I'm going to leave the basement and I'm not going to worry about it. You know, somebody else can do something about that. So let's move on out. Let's go outside. There is the house that Jack built. And it does actually look pretty good. I really actually, now that you look at it, it does look pretty cool with the, the blue... The green, the pink, and the yellow all on the front windows. That does actually create quite a pleasing effect. I like that. Uh, but no, the most important thing that we want to do is we want to sell it. Um, this is the bit that I like the most. Right here. This is the bit that I like the most. Um, but anyway, right. Let's see, let's, see, let's see what we can get to sell this house. I'm going to come over here out the way. And so I'm not sure when we're going to come back to this game. It'll... It's going to be at least a month, but uh, we will eventually come back to the game and we will eventually um, start doing some more stuff in here because there's still more updates that uh, need to be done. You've been working in this house for three hours and five minutes. We've been here a while. We've done uh, we've done a few episodes in here. Right. It's good when there are many rooms in the house. Uh, they're offering 240. We paid 205. I think it needs to go higher than that. Uh, 271. Wow, that's a big increase, that is. 274. Who needs that many bedrooms? I like to have a place to sleep. 275. Yeah, let's get 275 again. No place for all my clothes. I've got cupboards in every room. What more do you want? Thanks to this big amount of pictures, this house is on 281. Lovely living room. There are too many rooms. Well, why are you even looking at a house this size? I mean, seriously. Uh, Raphael is 300,000. And we got the Johnson family 
Five bedrooms. Each child will have their own bedroom. 310,000 right now we negotiate the offer. This is where we start negotiations. Now, can I get them to oh, I'm not going to get them to go up that much, but maybe we can get another 30 grand out of them. Negotiate. Your offer is too low. I can sell you for 30. We accept. Okay. I don't know how high you can push them on that. So, of course, now I get 125,000 profit. Do I keep the house and then we do something with the basement later um, when we come back or not? Now, I'm thinking about this. Um, I'm thinking no. I'm thinking we accept this offer. We take this. We take the money and we run. Uh, achievement unlocked family man. I don't know what that was, whether it was because I sold it to a big family or something. I'm not quite sure. Um... So that is it for House Flipper for a little while. We have 388,000. One more thing I wanted to do was I wanted to go to the browser. There are some other houses that they've added in, as far as I know. Uh, we've got the Huxter's house right there. Um, what else have we got? Sort of looking to see if there are any that I don't really recognize. Uh, Pink Kingdom. That one looks new. That one there. Family house. That one looks a bit newer. Um, the unwashed house. Anyway, they're, they're all smaller than the one that we've just done. So we'll, we'll be able to start working our way through some of those. Uh, that one right there. Can I go and buy that one again? Profit 94,000. That was good. Are you allowed to buy them again? So what happens when you've bought all of the houses and you've done them up? Do they, like, do you get them all come back up again for to repurchase? Anyway, I'm not quite sure, but that is all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And like I said, in two days' time, we will start Graveyard Keeper. And then we will come back and we will be doing some more to House Flipper in the future. There are other properties I want to look at. There are other updates they're going to be doing. They've been talking for quite a while about doing yard work. And I really want to be having a look at that. I'm hoping that there are a couple more optimizations. I did notice quite a lot in this episode that we were getting um, quite a bit of lag whilst we were working on that house. And I think it's just because of the size of the house and the sheer number of things that we put in there. So hopefully... In the future, because we'll mostly be doing smaller properties after that one, it shouldn't be so much of an issue. But anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.